Hello, welcome to His Life City Church YouTube channel. We are a church that loves God, makes disciples, and impacts our world. Let's give our best as we worship God and listen to His Word because we believe that His Word is able to transform us. So let's open our hearts as we allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us.
say, you know, can we just lift our hands with a smile on our faces, with the confidence that comes from the Lord. Father, we are just so grateful. We are so grateful to be here, singing new praises, Father. Jumping, Lord, oh God, clapping, just giving our best for you, Lord. Not because we can, not because of who we are. We are enjoying this freedom because of you, Jesus. Because of you, Jesus, we can just give it all out without holding back, Father. Thank you for your love, your grace that enables us, God. So allow your children, Father, with hands lifted high, with hearts surrendered, allow us, Lord, to sing glory, glory to God in the highest. You are most worthy, Jesus, and there is no one like you. We sing our hearts out to you alone, Father. This is our worship to you alone, Father. You're worthy. Glory! 
church. Let's lift our hands to the Father. Let's worship Him with all of our hearts. There's only one name. Worthy of all our praise. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, can you just lift your hands with me right now? Come on. Sa kabila po ng kaabalahan ng panahon, Lord, today we settle our hearts, Lord. We focus our eyes on Jesus. The very heart and center of this season. Jesus, Jesus, be glorified in our lives. We focus our eyes on you, Lord. Oh God, right now, we worship you. We honor you. We give you our highest praise, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We come to you today, Lord, with grateful hearts. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you. Because we worship a good, good Father. That's why we can say, this is a good, good day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Holy Spirit, we honor you today. We appreciate you. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Speak to us today, Lord. Bless your word. Bless your people. And bless your servant today. This we ask in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And we all shout, Amen and Amen. Come on, church. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Grace-filled Sunday to everyone. Hallelujah. Welcome to our Sunday worship celebration. Welcome to His Life family. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, welcome home. Come on, hallelujah. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ang lahat po nang tumanggap na ng bonus nila, magsabi ng amen. Ba, marami nang tumanggap. Hallelujah. Kaninang 7 a.m. Tumatawa lang sila. Hallelujah. Praise God. Before you sit down, give your neighbor a big, big high five and tell that neighbor, sabi mo lang sa kanya, you look good when you smile. Come on, tell that to your neighbor. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Those beautiful smiles. Hallelujah. We can all be seated in His presence today. Praise God. Praise God. Are you ready for the Word? Come on, church. Are you ready for the life-giving Word? Anointed Word. Oh, hallelujah. Life-changing word. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Today, we are ready to hear from God. Are you ready to hear from God today? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, isang beses pa, pakingitian mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, gwapo ka talaga, maganda ka pag nakangiti. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen? Praise God. Are you ready for the word? Decisions. Everybody say decisions. We make them every day. Consciously or unconsciously, we make decisions. The moment you wake up in the morning, you either decide to stay on the bed or get up and get going and come to church. Praise God. You made a very good decision today. And everybody said, Amen. 
decisions. You wake up in the morning, magdi-decide ka kung magtoothbrush ka o hindi. Kung nagkataon yung katabi mo, hindi nagtoothbrush ngayon, baka himatayin yung katabi mo. Ang tawag dyan, amoiting, hindi anointing. Hallelujah. Decision. You know? Gumising ka, tumayo ka, breakfast, pipili ka, magdi-decide ka. Anong almusal? Umpisahan mo sa kape o tubig? Sino po rito yung mga coffee lovers dito? Magtaas na kamay, mga coffee lovers. Talaga naman, eh, no? Talaga. Anong mas, mas, ano mas maganda sa katawan? Kape o tubig? Thank you. Hallelujah. Pero magkakape ka pa rin, no? Tama ba? Uunahin mo pa rin yung kape, no? Over breakfast, magdi-decide ka. Anong gusto mo? Sinangag na kanin na may kasamang pritong tuyo, kamatis, suka, sunny side up egg. Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? No? O, oh, hot pandesal na may palamang cheese whisk, liver spread. Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? At may kasamang kape. ano pipiliin mo? O yung iba sa inyo dahil nagmamadali, nagre-rush, o mag-drive to na lang sa dalawa lang yan eh. Ano yan? Jollibee? Or McDo? Alam nyo yan eh, no? Talaga. Yung ilan naman sa inyo dito, medyo sosyal. Starbucks, o, oh, di ba? Alam nyo rin eh, no? Yung mga taga-11 na yan, talagang mga sosyal to, mga to. Hallelujah. Everybody say, decisions. We make them every day, consciously or unconsciously. Christmas sale. Parang wala akong narinig. Bibiling ko ba to? O hindi? Kailangan ko ba to? O gusto ko lang? When you buy something, ano mauuna? Pigil o gigil? Pwede ko. Pag meron kang gustong bilhin, anong nauuna? Pigil o gigil? 50-50 <laughs> po yung, uh, yung sagot. Ha? Meron mga gigil, meron mga pigil. Hallelujah. How many of you here? How many of us here? No? Ilan po sa atin dito yung masasabi mo na you know, you have, you have made what I call an expensive mistake. No? Yung Sino pong nakaka-relate dyan? Yun ang, nak- nakagawa ka na ng expensive mistake. Ba't ko ba na super mahal na bilhin mo? No? Because of impulsive decision and bad choices. You see, lagi ko itong sinasabi. Ito po yung lagi kong payo. No? Sa marami sa atin, lagi ko itong sinasabi. When you are highly emotional, don't rush into making a major decision. Everybody said amen to that or you might end up regretting that decision. Pag super highly emotional ka, pigil, baka magkamali ka sa decision mo. When you are super emotionally excited, don't push that button sa Shopee at Lazada. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pag galit na galit ka naman, huwag na huwag ka gagawa ng mabilis na desisyon. Baka magsisi ka. Can I hear an amen? And I think, may mga broken families today. Dahil mag-asawa sa sobrang galit, gumawa ng hindi tamang desisyon. Decisions. Every now and then, we make some major, serious decisions that can impact our future. Did you hear me? Decisions. Every now and then, we make some major, serious decisions that can impact our future. Financial decisions. Uso ngayon yung nabubudol na scam. Naging impulsive, na excite, yun pumalpak sa financial decision, family decisions, career decisions, business decisions, love life decisions. But walang nag amen jan. And most importantly, spiritual decisions. 
Praise God. You made a spiritual decision today. That is why you are at church today. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord. Amen? You see, church, we all face dilemmas in life. Sometimes, we find ourselves at a major crossroad trying to figure out what to do or where to go. May mga panahon sa ating mga buhay na sa magkasangang daan ka and you try to figure out ano bang gagawin ko? Saan ba ako pupunta? A few months ago, I preached on the message entitled, Lord, I need you. It was quite personal for me. Inspired by the song, Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. Today, I want to speak to you on the message, Lord, guide me. Amen. If there is one prayer that we should have this season, this Christmas season, eh, yung Lord, gabayan niyo po ako. Lord, patnubayan niyo po ako. Sa bawat desisyon, sa bawat pagpili. Because it could break or make your life. Whether you like it or not, especially major decisions, it can impact your future. We all need God's guidance. Kailangan natin ang patnubay ng Diyos, gabay ng Diyos sa pagharap natin sa bawat umaga, sa bawat bukas. Kailangan natin ang patnubay ng Diyos sa pagharap natin, sa bawat hamon ng buhay. We all need God's guidance. You know, as we face another season in our life, as we face some transitions in our lives, I don't know, maybe some of you here are in a period of transition, you need God's guidance. Maring nasa new season ka ngayon, you need the guidance of God as we face some major decisions that impacts your life and your future. The good news is, sabi sa Psalm 32 verse 8, let's read that on the screen, it says here, the Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. What a word. And we say amen to that. I will advise you and watch over you. Ganda pangako ni Lord. Gagabayan kita. Patunubayan, papatunubayan kita. Papayuhan kita. Hindi lang yan. Babantayan kita. Yan ang Diyos na ating sinasamba. Palakpakan po natin si Lord. Come on, give God praise. Lord, guide me. Panginoon, patnubayan niyo po ako. So how can we receive guidance from the Lord? Let's read it. Let's read Psalm 32, verse 8 and 9 on the Passion Translation. It says here, I hear the Lord, look at this. I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you, instructing and guiding you along the pathway for your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. I love those words. Next line. So don't make it difficult. Sa ibang translation, don't be like a horse who, is, who has to be controlled by a bit and a bridle. Sabi niya, don't make it difficult. Pwede bang pakitapik sa balikat yung katabi mo? Sabi mo sa kanya, wag pasaway. Come on, hallelujah. Ha? Wag mong pahirapan ng Diyos. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? No? Gusto mo gusto mong i-guide ka ni Lord, wag matigas ang ulo. Can I hear an amen? So don't make it difficult. Don't be stubborn when I take you where you've not been before. Don't make me tug you and pull you along. God says, just come with me. You want to be guided? Gusto mong patnubayan ka ng Diyos? Ito yung nabasa natin. No? This is what we read. Ito lang sinasabi ni Lord. Stay close with me. Just come with me. Gusto mo, gabayan kita. Sabi ni Lord, stay close with me. So how does God guide us? Number one, guided by praying. Everybody say prayer. Come on. Guided by praying. Sabi ni Lord, gusto mo bang, gusto mo bang gabayan kita? Ito lang ang sabi ni Lord sa atin. Sinasabi ni Lord ngayon sa atin. Stay close with me. Just come with me. Why? Because intimacy with God, pag malapit ka sa Diyos, it produces clarity. 
in a world full of moral confusion, we need clarity. And we can only get that when we are, sabi ni Lord, just, clo- just stay close with me because intimacy with God produces clarity. Intimacy with God gives you wisdom to make wise decisions. Stay close to me so He can guide you. Basahin po natin ang verse 8, 32 verse 8. Look at this. Meron akong gustong line dito, sabi dito. I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you. Pag close ka kay Lord, sabi niya, instructing and guiding you along the pathway for your life, I will advise you along the way. What's the next line? Come on, read it. And lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. I love those words. Ang sabi ni Lord, you know what God is saying here? I will guide you with my eyes. What does that mean, Pastor? God is saying, I will guide you with my eyes. Kasi yung kasunod na verse, na yung, wag kang parang maging parang maging uh, kabayo na kailangang rendahan, kailangang kontrolin, kailangan ganunin. Sa, parang sinasabi ni Lord sa atin, huwag kang maging kabayo. Would you please look at your neighbor right now? Hallelujah. <laughs> Sabi ko, tingnan mo lang. Hallelujah. Amen. No? Ayoko na maging, katulad ka ng kabayo, no? kailangan ko pang rendahan, kontrolin. I want to guide you with my eyes, sabi ni Lord. What does that mean, Pastor? How many of you here are married? Married people in the house. Can I see a show of hands? Married, married people. Come on. All right. Praise God. Okay. Scenario. Nasa Christmas party kayo. Couples Christmas party. Kasama mo yung asawa mo. Tapos uh, masaya kayo. Pero meron kang gustong sabihin sa asawa mo. Kaya lang nandun siya sa kabila. Nandito ka. Hindi po ba na wala ka, pa, wala ka man sinasabi. Hindi mo, kinaka, hindi mo in, wala kang verbal communication sa asawa mo. Pero kahit na nandun siya. Mga mag-asawa, nakaka-relate po ba kayo doon? Ha? Naintindihan ka na ng asawa mo, tama ba? Ha? Para bakang, may pera ka ba dyan? Yung parang... Mata lang. Bakit sa mag-asawa or sa mag- matalik na magkaibigan, sa mga close, you know, friendship, hindi man kayo nag-uusap, mata lang, nagkakaintindihan kayo. Bakit? Intimacy. Sabi ni Lord, just stay close with me. Gusto mong patnabayan kita, lumapit ka sa akin. And I will guide you with my eyes. You know, hindi ka matigas ang ulo, hindi ka pasawan. You know, just I'll guide you with my eyes. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. You know, isa po sa nakatatak na verse sa Bible na talagang hindi lang ito nakatatak sa puso ko, kundi nakapanday sa spirito ko. No? In fact, uh, pwede ko po itong sabihin sa inyo na hindi tumitingin sa screen. Sa ulado ko po ito, hindi lang sa ulado, kundi talagang totoong-totoo sa buhay ko, ina-apply ko lagi. If it's in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, it says there, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. And verse 7 declares, then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Everybody said, come on, everybody said. Now listen, church. Pakinggan niyo po ako. Mahirap makatanggap ng gabay patnubay sa Diyos kapag nahuunahan tayo ng takot, pag-aalala at aligaga. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Kaya nga sabi ko nga dito, when you worry, it's hard to pray. But when you pray, it drives away worry. And we say Amen. Kaya naman, kasama nung verse na yan, don't worry about anything, sabi. Instead, pray. Tell God what you need. And 
thank Him for all He has done. May kasama pong kanta yan eh. Sinyer ko na ito sa inyo a few months ago. Ano yung kantang, When I worry about tomorrow, I won't be overwhelmed. Come on, sing it with me. And the burdens that I carry, I will choose to lay them down. Because what I've learned about your favor, your mercy, and your grace is they go on forever. They're sufficient for today. Kaya naman si Jesus, ulit-ulit sa Matthew chapter 6, don't worry, don't worry. Ulit-ulit po yan. Don't worry, don't worry. And when you find yourself worrying, sabi ni Jesus in Matthew chapter 6, look at the birds. They don't work. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. And Jesus said, how much more ikaw na anak ng Diyos? Pababayaan ka ba niya? Hindi niya ba ipoprovide lahat ng pangangailangan mo? Everybody said? Come on, palakpakan mo muna si Lord. Hallelujah. Amen! Gusto mo ng patnubay? Sabi ni Lord, stay close with me. How do you pray? How do you pray? You know, prayer is not that complicated. Oh, nothing. You know, God is not a complicated God. How do you pray? Simple. We can see that on that Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. How do you pray? You all start with the letter T. First, how do you pray? Simple. Talk to Him. Simple, no? problema po kasi natin, pag may pinagdadaanan tayo, kapag may pangangailangan tayo, kung sino-sino kinakausap natin eh. Tapos, panghuli ang Diyos. Pag sumagad ka lang, doon ka, doon ka, na, doon ka tumatawag sa Kanya. Simple. Prayer is, talk to Him. Hindi kung sino-sino kinakausap natin. Kayo po ba yun pa? In fact, Sa so, sobrang dami ng kinausap mo, nalito ka patuloy. No? Kasi iba-iba yung sinasabi nila eh. How do you pray? Paano, paano ka papatnubahin ng Diyos? Talk to Him. You know, every time I go, I go visit our church in His Life, Tagaytay, or His Life Laguna, or His Life Quezon Province, you know, pagbalik ko po, pabalik ng Pampanga, meron po akong nakakita na no, talagang nakakaano lang, yung isang napakalaking uh, signage sa uh, SLEX, no, na nakalagay, nakalagay, ito lang. Talk to me. Tapos, God. Yun lang. When was the last time you really talk to God? Hindi yung, Lord, thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hindi yung, hindi yung, hindi, hindi ganong klase ng panalangin. Kundi yung talagang totoong pakikipag-usap sa Kanya. Siguro, if I could put that in Tagalog, Pwede natin ilagay. Usap tayo. God. And we say, Amen. Talk to Him. Pangalawa. Don't worry about anything. Instead, talk to Him. Pray about everything. Pangalawa. Tell Him. Everybody say, tell him. Tell him what you need. Yan ang sinasabi sa Philippians 4. Tell him what you need. Ito pa po ang problema natin. Pag may pangailangan tayo, kung sino-sino minimesays natin, kung sino-sino yung tinitext natin. Sabi doon, talk to him. Tell him what you need. You know why? Because God knows you. He knows your need. And guess what? He will provide for all your needs. Sabihin mo lang sa kanya. Hindi kung kanino, kanino. And everybody said, Amen! Amen! Usap tayo, sabi ni Lord. Sabihin mo. Kilala ka niya. Diba sabi ni David, The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything that I need. 
pag ang Diyos ang aking pastol, ipagkakalob niya lahat ng pangangailangan ko. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Oh my God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. Inihintay lang ni Lord, usap tayo, sabihin mo. Tell Him, for He knows you, He knows your need, and He will provide. Palapakan natin si Lord yan. Yan lang, no? How do, you, how do you pray? Talk to Him. Tell Him. And then yung pangatlo, thank Him. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell Him what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Let me ask you, church. Kung, you know, you, you, you've been walking with the Lord, you know, for quite some time, you know, ilang taong ka nang mananampalataya, sino po rito yung makakapag-testify? You know, in front of us here, sino makapagsasabi na kahit minsan, sa mga nakaraan, na lakad mo kasama ang Diyos, kahit minsan hindi pa nagkulang ang Diyos sa'yo, magtaas ka ng kamay. Sino po rito yung makapagpapatutun na naging tapat ang Diyos sa'yo? Naging mabuti ang Diyos sa'yo? Sinakot niya yung mga panalangin mo? Yun yun eh. How do, you, how do you pray? Talk to Him. Tell Him. And thank Him for all He has done. And the next thing you know, mabuboost yung faith mo. Bakit? Bakit sinabing pasalamatan mo siya sa lahat ng ginawa niya sa nakaraan? You know why? Ganito po kasi yan eh, no? If God has been good, faithful, and has provided for you in the past, listen, He will be faithful for you in your future. And everybody said, Amen. He will be faithful and good to you for your future. And next time na medyo nag-aalala ka, you know, Alalahanin mo yung ginawang kabutihan ng Diyos sa'yo. Kasi yan ang magbibigay ng confidence sa'yo na, Lord, kung iningatan mo ako noon, hindi ka nakulang, Lord, you will provide for my needs today at sa aking kinabukasan at sa kinabukasan ng mga anak ko at mga apo ko. Everybody said, Amen! Whew. Simple. Sabi ni Lord, stay close with me and I will guide you. How do you pray? Talk to Him. Tell Him. And thank Him for all He has done. And we say, Amen. Sila po naniniwala, kinakausap sila ni Lord ngayong oras nito. Amen? Usap tayo. Sabihin mo. How does God guide you? Number two, guided by His Word. Psalm 119 verse 105. Let's read. Look at this. Look at this. Your word, Lord, your word is a lamp to guide my feet. It is a light for my path. This book, the Passion Translation puts it this way. Look at this. Through its shining light guides me in my choices and decisions. The revelation of your word makes my pathway clear. Now listen, church. I've been walking with the Lord all these years. God has been so, so good and faithful. Sa kabila ng kumisan tayo, nagkukulang sa Kanya, talagang kahit minsan hindi nagkulang ang Diyos sa atin. And we say, Amen. Now listen, church. Sa aking pong personal journey walking with the Lord, ito po ang napatunayan ko. Pakinggan niyo po ako. God's Word has always been my go-to guidebook. Let me repeat that. This book, dito ako laging pumupunta. Pag nakausap ko ang Diyos, dadali niya ako dito. God's Word has always been my go-to. Tanong, sino yung tayo, iba-iba yung mga go-to natin eh. No? Sa panahon ng problema, oh, go to your uncle, go to your wife, go to your husband, go to your... Huh? For me, God's Word has always been my go-to guidebook. Every time I am faced with decisions, dilemmas, and crossroads in my life, ito yung go-to guidebook ko. As one writer said, Bible, B-I-B-L-E, stands for basic instruction before living earth. Bible. And we say, Amen. It is my compass, my map, my GPS, 
My ways. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? My Google map. It is this book. Sa aking pong personal na karanasan, this is my go-to guidebook every time I am faced with decisions, dilemmas, and crossroads. Financial decisions, ministry decisions, family decisions, spiritual decisions. Every time, ito po lagi, every time I need clarity and direction, I go to this book. Every time I need wisdom, I go to this book. Every time I need inspiration and an encouragement, I go to this book. Ano yung go-to mo sa buhay? It has never failed. It has never failed. This book is filled with God's promises, ready to be claimed, ready, ready to be received and claimed. May mga pangako ang Diyos sa iyo na nandito. Buksan mo lang. Can I hear an amen? Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Look at this. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night. So you will be sure to obey everything written on it. Read the last line. Only then will you prosper and succeed. This promise was given to Joshua who is about to face you know, a major battle, a major responsibility, facing the impossible, entering with a new season. He needed, he needed guidance, he needed direction and strength from the Lord. He went to this book. Sabi ni Lord kay Joshua, Joshua, read this book, meditate on it. Pagbulay-bulayin mo ito. Because if you obey it, then you will succeed. And everybody said, Amen. How many of you here wants to succeed in life? Come on, you want to succeed in life? Ano yung go to mo? Go to this book. Can I hear an amen? Sige po, palakpakan natin si Lord. You will find clarity, wisdom, direction, and guidance from this book. Not from TikTok. Could you please say amen? Hallelujah. Gusto mong patnubayan ka ng Diyos? Guidance by praying. Talk to Him. Tell Him. Thank Him. Guidance by the Word. Last but not the least, guidance by moving in faith. Guidance by moving in faith. 2 Corinthians 5.7, a very short verse. Look at this, powerful verse. Ano sa Ano nakalagay? For what? We walk by faith, not by sight. Ano siya sabi sa atin yan? We walk not by our feelings. If there's one thing that you need to learn by this time, dapat natutunan mo na is, you cannot trust your feelings. Could you please, tapik sa balikat, don't trust your feelings. Come on, hallelujah. Kasi yung feelings mo, pabago-bago yan. No? Ay mo, up and down. Di ba, may mga tao na, rural coaster, up, up ngayon, tapos down, up, down. Hmm? Kumusta ka na? Up and down ako, sabi. No? Di ba? No? Okay ngayon, tapos, maya-maya. Hmm. Okay. Hmm? You can't trust your feelings. Kaya sabi ni Lord, don't walk by feelings. Don't walk by sight. Don't walk by what you see. Walk by faith. And we say, Amen. And we say, Amen. Why? Ano sinasabi sa atin dito? Ibig sabihin dito, faith is not passive. It is active. We walk active by faith. Ang tawag ko nga po dito, guidance by movement. Everybody say, guidance by movement. For you to, under, for you to understand this, kayo po na mga may sasakyan dito and you're driving a car, ito po yung simple analogy ng guidance by movement. You cannot, I repeat, no? you cannot guide or steer a car when it is on neutral or when it is stationary. 
The only time you can guide your car, left or right or straight, is when you, you know, put it on drive and press the gas. And when it starts moving, that's the only time you can guide the car. Tama po ba ako? Everybody say, makes sense. Come on, hallelujah. Ang tawag dyan, guidance by movement. Listen, church. God guides us when we are moving in faith. Everybody said, Amen. Psalm 37, verse 23. Look at this. Read it out. The what? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and He delights in His way. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Listen church, the Lord directs, the Lord guides the steps. Not the seating, not the standing. Are you following church? Right now, naka, nakaupo kayo, ako nakatayo. God cannot guide us by sitting. God cannot guide us by standing. God can guide us when we take a step of faith. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. In other words, everybody say, application time. Come on. Now, let me ask you again. Sino po rito yung gusto ng guidance kay Lord? Come on, hallelujah. Sino po yung sasabi, Lord, pat no, bayan niyo po ako. Gabayan niyo po ako. Amen? Okay, ganito po yan. God cannot guide you kung nagmumukmuk ka. Hallelujah. Tingnan mo nga yung mukha nung katabi mo ngayon, mukha bang mukmuk yan. Hallelujah. Ha? No? No? Can I hear an amen? amen. Hindi tayo pwede i-guide. Lord, pag nagmumukmuk tayo, hindi ka pwede i-guide. Lord, pag nagsasabi-sabi ka. Come on. Come on. Could you please high five your neighbor? Come on, come on, hallelujah. Huh? God cannot guide you kapag nagsiself-pity ka. Uwawa ako. Agad dito na lang. God cannot guide you kapag natatakot ka o nag-worry ka. God cannot guide you kapag hanggang ngayon hindi ka pa makapag-move on. Kapik sa balika at sabihin mo sa kanya, move on ka na kasi. Come on. Amen. Whew. Don't be stuck in a moment. Don't be stuck in your past. Huwag mo hayaan na yung nakaraan mo, hinain ka. Take a step. Kinausap mo na ang Diyos. Sinabi mo na, nagpasalamat ka, pinasa mo yung Bible. Now, sabi ni Lord, anak, umakbang ka na. Amen. Amen. Whew. Psalm 37 verse 23. Look at that. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and He delights in His ways. And we say amen. amen. Listen church, you have to understand that steps are decisions. As you start to make decisions guided by prayer, Guided by the word, then you start making a move forward. God's guidance will come to you. Like Abraham. Si Abraham, kinatagpo ng Diyos. Si Abraham, sabi ni Lord, Abraham, usap tayo. Sige Lord, usap tayo. Tapos, ang kasunod nun, nung nakausap na ang Diyos, Abraham, may promise ako sa'yo. Abraham, dahil kinausap mo ako, sabi ni Lord, from this day, I will bless you. Those who bless you, I will bless. Those who curse you, I will curse, sabi ni Lord. Abraham, ito yung promise ko sa'yo. Bibigyan kita ng anak at bibigyan kita ng lupa. Sino po nagpipilay ng lupa dito? Come on, huh? yun, ang yun ang promise ni Lord. I'm gonna give you a son and I'm gonna give you a land. A real estate, sabi ni Lord. I'm... I'm gonna bring you to a promised land. But Abraham, nag-usap tayo, binigyan kita ng promise, it's time for you to move. Get out of your comfort zone. Take a step. And I will lead you to the promised land. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, palapakan natin si Lord. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Tapi sa balik at ulit. Move on na. Come on. Move on. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As one veteran missionary says, capturing the life of Abraham in a statement like this. Let's read this. Basahin natin. Ito yung parang buhay ni Abraham. If you cannot see far ahead, go as far as you can see. Yan ang faith. May saan gusto, gusto natin si Lord pa ipakita lahat yung Lord. Saan ba yan? No, no, no. Sabi ni Lord, one step at a time. Kung ano yung pinakita ko, lakarin mo muna yan. And then I'll show you. And then I'll show you. And then I'll show you. And then the next thing you know, God is building your faith in Him. And everybody said, and everybody said, Huwag mo sabihin, Lord, ang layo. No. sabi mo, yung malapit, lakarin mo na. Then the next thing you know, tawag dyan, guidance by movement. And we say, Amen. You know, one verse that is really so powerful that maybe could really hammer in the point of what we're talking about today. It's in Proverbs chapter 3. Verse 5 and 6. Ano po dito? Can you pl- pl- please read the first line? Ooh. Sino po rito yung mga na-disappoint na sa buhay dahil nagtiwala ka sa katabi mo? Come on, hallelujah. Could you please look at your neighbor? Look at your, mukha bang katiwatiwala yan, hallelujah. Hindi po ba pumisan ang hugot ng ating mga frustration, disappointment sa buhay kasi sobra kang nagtiwala sa tao, hindi siya nag-deliver. This verse is, they that put their trust in the Lord will never be disappointed. Trust in the Lord completely. Siya ang pagtiwalaan mo. And do not rely on your own opinions with all your heart. Rely on Him to guide you. And He will lead you in every decision you make. Sa Kanya ka magtiwala. Hindi sa tao, hindi sa sarili mo. Sa Kanya. Next line. Become intimate with Him in whatever you do. And He will lead you wherever you go. Talk to Him. Tell Him and thank Him for all He has done. Next line. Don't think for a moment. Ano na kalagay? Meron ba kayong kilala mga tao na know it all? Diba? May mga tao ganun, know it all. Sabi niya, don't think for a moment that you know it all. For wisdom comes when you worship, adore Him with undivided devotion and avoid everything that is wrong. Last line. Let's pray for this. Then you will find the healing refreshment your body and spirit longs for. And we say Amen. How many of you here, church? Are ready to receive, you know, emotional healing. Come on, hallelujah. Mental healing, spiritual healing, even physical healing. Pwede ba natin palapakan si Lord kung naniniwala ka? Pag kinausap mo siya, binasa mo yung word at naniwala ka. You know, you know, there's lots of confusion and deception. Today, I pray that Today, you will find clarity. Baka sumpong ka ng kaliwanagan, kapayapaan. God will settle your heart. And God is saying, just stay close with me. Stay with me. And we say, and we say, Hallelujah. Let me simplify things for you para hindi ko natin makalimutan. Ulitin ko, sino po rito yung nagpipray ngayon, Lord, patnubayan niyo po ako. Ano, 
Kapayan niya po ako. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord. Simplihan po natin para maging madali sa atin, para hindi po natin makalimutan yung message. Simple. Gusto mo patnubayan ka ng Diyos? Tatagalugin natin. Una, dasal-dasal. Pangalawa, bulay-bulay. Pangatlo, galaw-galaw. Hallelujah. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord John. Simple, no? Dasal-dasal. Pagbulay-bulay sa salita, bulay-bulay, galaw-galaw. Napakalakas lang dati sa akin ng galaw-galaw kasi meron po ako napanood na isang apo na ini-interview yung kanyang lola. Sa Amerika po ito, no? isang 100 plus Filipina lola. Filipina po siya. Sabi nung apo niya, you know, uh, binibidyo niya ganyan, oh, oh, grandma, lola, lola, you're now so popular on YouTube. Sabi niya, oh, you're, because uh, uh, you were interviewed in uh, television, ano, uh, tapos na, uh, ano ka, popular ka na, lola. Sabi niya, lola, can you share to those millions who are watching you, can you share your secret of your longevity? You know, nung, nung napanood ko po yan, talagang my eyes were glued, talagang, siyempre, no, yung, kasi tumatanda na rin po ako. No, I feel yung, you know, talagang iba na. No, so, uh, sabi ko, ano kaya sikreto ng lola na to? Kahit malakas pa siya. No? Sabi niya, eto lang sinabi ng lola. And I was listening intently. Simply lang, sabi niya sa apo. Una, don't worry. Pangalawa, galaw-galaw. Yun lang, sabi niya, galaw-galaw. Kaya kayo po, na mag ng Christmas party this week. At kumain kayo ng lechon, galaw-galaw after that. And everybody said, and everybody said, come on, palakpakan mo si Lord. Dasal-dasal, bulay-bulay, galaw-galaw. And everybody said, wag magmukmuk, wag maawa sa sarili. Get up, get going, and move in faith. And everybody said, you know, this Christmas season, let's learn from what we call, you know, one, one familiar story for all of us. Let's learn from the wise men from the East. Matuto tayo sa kanila. Let's read, you know, a portion of their story here. After this interview, the wise men, look at this, went their way, and the star They had seen in the east was the word. Guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus, the child, was. Next line. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasure chest and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The wise men, they were called, you know why they were called wise men? According to Bible scholars, they came from far away places, but they were searching the ancient scriptures. They were seeking and searching, and they read that according to a prophecy, a prophetic promise, a child, a savior will be born in Bethlehem. They were searching. And as they were on their way, you know, they were praying, searching the scriptures, but they were moving. And God has guided them to the very place where they found salvation that can only be found in Jesus Christ. And everybody said, and everybody said, let's be like those wise men. Dasal, dasal. Bulay-bulay. Tapik sa balika. Sabi mo, galaw-galaw. Hallelujah. Everybody stand with me right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Stand with me. And bow your, could you please just bow your heads and close your eyes right now. And let's just have a, a moment with the Lord right now. Lord, alam ko po sa oras na ito, Narinig po namin ang word mo. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Today we heard your word, Lord. And we receive your word by faith. Kaya naman po, Panginoon, 
Ako'y naniniwala na sa oras na ito. Your word can bring healing, Lord. Sa kanila po na masyadong naging abala, aligaga, nag-alala, Panginoon, ipayapa niyo po ang kanilang mga puso. Lord, your word brings healing, Lord. Every time we hear your word, it is so alive. Your words, Lord, are healing words, wisdom words, anointed words, revelation word, Lord. Buhay po ang iyong mga salita. Nagpapalakas, nagpapagaling, nagpapabago ng aming mga puso. Can I just respectfully ask you to just raise your hand right now? I want to pray for you right now. Lord, I pray that you release healing right now. To those who are struggling mentally, Lord, Lord, bombarded with so many things in their minds, na, Lord, yung mga pumunta dito na magulong isip, Panginoon, linawin mo ang kanilang pag-iisip, ipayapa mo ang kanilang puso, palakasin mo ang kanilang mga spirito, Lord, right now. Come on, just receive that healing right now. Lord, I pray that you receive, that you release, Lord, mental healing, emotional healing, Lord, right now. Even physical healing sa kanila po na mataas ang presyon, mataas ang, Lord God, blood sugar, or bababa blood sugar, Lord. Lord God, Lord, just, just release healing right now, Lord. Sa kanila po na may medyo masakit ang ulo, nilalagnat. Lord, Father, release your healing, Lord, right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release healing, Lord. Lord, sa kanila po na, Lord, nabibigatan, Lord, na dumating dito sa lugar na ito, Lord, na talagang, Lord, bigat na bigat yung damdamin niya, Panginoon, palayain niyo po sila. I speak freedom right now. In Jesus' name, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Receive that in Jesus' name. Come on, receive that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Sa kanila po na, Lord God, uh, napakatindi ng pangangailangan, Lord God. Nagpipray po ako ng financial miracle sa kanila in the name of Jesus, Lord. Na Ikaw ang Diyos ng Himala, Father God. Na sa iyo walang imposible. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Can we just worship the Lord today? Yes, Lord. When we're about tomorrow, Come on, sing it with us. I won't be overwhelmed. And the burdens that I've carried, I will choose to lay them down. Because what I've learned about your favor, your mercy and your grace. Yes. Is Sing it with us. Yes, Lord. When I'm worried about tomorrow, I won't be overwhelmed. And the burdens that I've carried, I will choose to lay them down. It's what I've learned about your favor, your mercy, and your grace. Is single one for 
한분한 한 분씩 Come on, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All heads are bowed. All eyes are closed. I just want to take this time, this divine moment for maybe for some of us here today who have never really come to that place of surrender. You may have come to this place today for your first time. Aring ito yung first time mo dito sa church. You're not here by accident. The Holy Spirit has guided you in this place so you can find forgiveness and salvation. And maybe the wisest decision that you will ever make today that can impact your future is to say, Jesus, today be my Savior. Just like those wise men. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. And if you are that person today, I invite you to just raise your right hand where you are and pray this prayer of faith. That's what yung kanang kamay mo. And pray this prayer. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, come on, say, Dear Lord Jesus, today I come to you. I admit I am broken. I am a sinner. And I need a Savior. Jesus, be my Savior. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Change me. And set me free. I believe in my heart. And I confess in my mouth. That you came. You died on the cross. You rose from the dead. So I can receive a new life. Eternal life. Today. By faith. I believe. I am saved. Forgiven. Accepted. Thank you Jesus. From this day forward, I will love you, honor you, and I will follow you. In your name I pray. And everybody said amen. And amen and amen. Wow. If you pray that prayer with faith in your heart, the Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is now a new creation. The old life is gone and the new life has begun. Welcome to your new life in Jesus Christ. Palapakan po natin si Lord Jan. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed with the word, church? Amen. Sino po rito yung lalabas sa building na to? Payapa, magaan ang puso. Everybody said amen. Come on, could you please tell your neighbor right now? Dasal, dasal. Bulay, bulay. Galaw, galaw. And we say amen. Hallelujah. Palapakan po natin si Lord. Give God praise. Give your hands. I want to bless you with a prayer. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord makes His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord bless you with supernatural peace, supernatural joy, supernatural guidance, supernatural provision, favor. The Lord bless your family. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we all say... Amen and amen. God bless you, church. See you next Sunday. Just bless one another with the love of God. Hallelujah.